This is Dora Pinter with Service Star Realty. And um, uh, we have a lot of investors that uh, purchase properties uh, back at the top of the market with negative cash flow. And we get a lot of questions regarding how to handle the negative cash flow and whether it's a good investment or not. So today I want to talk about uh, positive geared properties versus negative geared properties. Uh, a positive geared property is your cookie cutter property, maybe a three bedroom, two bath where you have a bit of cash flow and you're expecting normal appreciation on the property, let's say three, four, five percent annually. Again, the property is cash flowing and it is a safe investment. A negative geared property, on the other hand, is where uh, it is either um, appreciating very fast, it's in a regentrification area, downtown, for example. So this is a property where you expect unusual appreciation and you are willing to uh, suffer a little bit of negative cash flow. So basically what that means is that your mortgage payment is not going to cover the rent. Uh, a good example would be a property that you purchased for $500,000. It's only renting, let's say, for $1,500, but you know you're expecting it to sell for maybe a million, a million and a half uh, a couple of years from now. So. Um, Again, it comes down to the numbers and your goals. You need to know what your goals are, whether you can handle the negative cash flow for a while and uh, uh, doing your math, the numbers, whether it's going to be a good investment. Uh, so if we can help you uh, evaluate an investment, we have wonderful spreadsheets that make our work easier. We can plug in your numbers and, and see, uh, depending on the percentage of appreciation that is accepted, where each property is going to be as far as positive, negative cash flow, uh, return on investment, uh, cash on cash investment, if you're ready to reposition some of your investments. If it's not uh, affordable for you to carry a negative cash flow, a good idea is to purchase a couple of positive cash flow properties and those two uh, positive geared properties are going to help you carry the negative geared property and as a combination of the two, you can perhaps achieve some really, really stellar results with your real estate investment. So please give us a call if we can help you with this. Again, we'd love to sit down with you and, and figure out your investment goals and figure out the numbers with you. Thank you so much for watching.